what Apostle Paul was telling us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 13, admonishing us because he knows that the times are difficult, the times are wicked. The Bible was written thousands of years ago. We're not even born, but Apostle Paul already saw what will happen thousands of years later. Look at all the killings. Look at all the evil that is happening. Kidnappings, money ritualists. That is why he told us then, years ago, to put on the full armor of God. So that we can be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against... God bless you, brothers and sisters. Your sister, princess, it's been a while. Um, I just want to speak to us about the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. I'll start from verse 10. Apostle Paul was speaking to us here, was admonishing us and, and advising us and speaking to us, encouraging us, believers. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse, verse, uh, verse 10. He says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. My brothers and sisters, I just want to let us know the, the things that we see physically with our physical eyes is, is, is nothing compared to what is happening in the spirit. There are things that is happening physically that you just see physically. Oh, oh my God, they shoot him, they kill him, they kidnap him. It is nothing compared to what is happening in the spirit. Whatever is going on here with us physically has been programmed in the spiritual. But here Apostle Paul is telling us, he's speaking to us. He's telling us here, he says, to finally my brethren, first of all, he says, be strong in the Lord. First of all, to be able to put on the whole armor of God, you first have to be strong in the Lord. You first have to ask God for strength to receive the backing of the Holy Spirit for the Lord to strengthen you so that you can be able to put on that armor. How are you going to put on the armor of God if you are not strong in the Lord to pray? You first have to ask God for the grace to pray. You need the strength not physical strength, spiritual strength. You can be the mightiest bo boss, bosser on earth. You can be the mightiest wrestler on earth. A little sickness, a little illness will knock you down. That, mean, that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I just use that as an example. Our physical strength is nothing compared to what the enemy want to do to us spiritually. When Satan has set his sight on you, has programmed some illness, some terrible accident, some evil thing into your home, broken marriage, children begin to misbehave, anything that will bring you sorrow, when Satan has programmed it into your life, physically, no matter how strong you are, you will not, if you are not spiritually strong in the Lord, you will not be able to withstand what the enemy want to do to you. We all know that the Bible told us that Satan only come to kill, to steal, to destroy. Kill your joy. Steal your joy. Destroy your joy. How will Satan do those? By projecting all these evil things into people's lives. You will see a very, a once happy couple all of a sudden, quarrel, discord. Then before you know it, they will go to court and say irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences, meaning it's too many to count, just divorce. You will see your child begin to raise up their voice. I want to see children who there was a case in New York. A young boy, a Nigerian family, this mother struggling to take care of her family. Her son, the enemy used her son to destroy her life. 
This woman has tried everything for that boy to change until he took a gun and shot his mother dead. Now the mother is dead, the boy is going to jail, single mother. Now the, the junior ones who, the, who, who was going to take care of them, the states go be on a welfare system. If they don't have other family members who want to take them in. And besides, how many family members can boastfully, boastfully say they will take care of their family members' children the way they will take care of their own? It takes the grace of God for somebody to raise somebody else's child that is not their biological child, the same way they will raise their own. It takes the grace of God for anybody, any man, any woman to raise, even if it's your own sister, your brother's children. It's not easy. Let's be frank. So these are the things that the enemy wants to do to people, do to you and I, do to children of God. So you're going to see some, a child smoking drugs, cocaine, marijuana. These are the devices of the enemy that they want to program into families to destroy the joy, steal the, the joy, kill the joy in that family. That is why here Apostle Paul is telling us, first of all, we have to be first of all be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He's telling us here, first of all, be strong, receive that spiritual strength and also in the power of his might, the might, the mighty power of God. Believe that that mighty power of God is going to, is, 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 is strong enough to hold you. That is what Apostle Paul is telling us here in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Then he says, when when you have now received strength in the Lord, when you have now received enough strength in the Lord, in the word of God, you have now received enough strength in the in, 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 in the blood of Jesus, you have now allowed the word of God to strengthen you, then put on the full armor of God. <laughs> when so you, you a weak you cannot have a weak soldier in the war front. We have U.S. Army, Nigerian Army fighting Boko Haram the best they can, even with less equipment that are even as more. Boko Haram have more. Some of them have more equipment than even the army that is going to fight them. But those army, they, 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 they are strong. They have that physical strength. In God, even though it's like David and Goliath. David had the, 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 he had the, the strength of God within him. Goliath with all his physical armor. David had only the spiritual armor of God. That is what Apostle Paul is telling us here. When you ask God to come and protect you, a weak soldier cannot go to Iraq and fight. You are already physically weak. You cannot even hold a gun. You hold a gun. Oh, oh my God. The enemy will just shoot you down. You will have to receive that physical strength. Be hardened in your heart. Say, Father, I'm fighting this. The same physical strength that these soldiers go to war with is not even as strong as the spiritual strength that Apostle Paul is telling us to wear upon ourselves. The armor of God, the blood of Jesus Christ, the power and the might of God. Lay it upon yourself. Lay it upon your family. So that then it says to us here, verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. That is what I was saying in the beginning of this video. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. The things that that, that saw in your leg, you seen it physically. <laughs> you see the flesh and blood part of that accident that you had. You see the flesh, the physical part of that job that they just fired you for nothing. You see the physical part of a job you have been in for so many years, your boss refused to even give you good accredit to accredit you and review you and give you your raise. That is the physical part you're looking at. But here, it says we do not wrestle against that physical part. You do not go and go to your boss and say, "You bitch, you stupid, you refuse to give me a raise, you are idiot." If you do that, they'll just throw you out the door and fire you. He's saying here. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers. You having that terrible dream, you always seeing your 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 your, your friend, your uncle coming to you, 
to sleep with you or chasing you in the dream. And then you want to physically, you have not covered yourself with the full armor of God. You have not gone into fasting and prayer to destroy the works of that evil family. You want to wake up early in the morning and say, hey, you this you do this stupid uncle i'm always seeing you you come let me beat you you will physic you go you want to physically fight that native doctor that witch that wizard physically fight them no problem this but apostle paul is telling us now you will not even physically physically you can't even you can't even defeat them physically he say we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood the physical part that we see but we wrestle against powers and principalities against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. That they are evil coven where they're having those demonic meetings. All they talk is wickedness. All they program is wickedness. They are the spiritual hosts of wickedness. Those witches and wizards in your village. Those people in your family who are going to those family altars, pouring ogogoro into it, pouring drinks into those altars, Killing goats and fowl and spilling blood into those waters. Those are the hosts of spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. There is the heavenlies. There is first heaven, second heaven, the third heavens. I think I have not been there. People said spiritual scholars have said up to seventh heaven. But where Satan has ruled according to uh, spiritual scholars is the second heavens down to earth. That is what yeah, uh, Ephesians, Apostle uh, Paul is telling us here in Ephesians. We do not even wrestle a ghost a ghost, physically, physical wrestle, physical fight. We haven't seen a teacher at school in those days. There was a young girl that confessed that her teacher, I watched that on YouTube, her teacher. Uh, told her to kneel down and face the wall in school because she was making noise. When she was going, her teacher used her hand to push her head like this. Go and kneel down there or tell me whatever. You're making too much noise. A young girl of eight years old, at night, she put a big saw. She sent a spiritual uh, snake to go and bite that woman's hand. In the daytime, the hand swell, swell up, began to pain her See, they, there was a big so they had to cut off that hand. A young girl of eight years old did that to her teacher. The young girl said, she's physic physically, you are looking at eight-year-old child. Spiritually, this girl said she was she was a she was a 90-year-old woman in the in their coven. And she was the leader of their coven. That is so you are going to physically beat up that little girl spiritually that girl will destroy your life that is what apostle paul is saying we are wrestling against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places in the heavenlies that is what is being taught us here he said therefore verse 13 take up the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. We know the times are evil. We know it is so evil right now. Money rituals, kidnapping. There was this woman I was watching on Facebook a couple of weeks ago that she was kidnapped, taken to some forest. And the only thing that saved her was they did not want somebody who has given birth. They wanted fresh young girls who had not given birth. So when they saw that she had given birth several times, they, they, they did not use her for sacrifice, but they beat her, everything. They now ask her family for ransom. The family had to go and drop a ransom somewhere before they now release her someplace. The woman was not saying the things that she saw with her own eyes. They would just take young, young girls, put them on the slaughter tables, kill them, begin to dissect them as to how to said people were, people were coming to buy them. People were coming to buy human parts. They know where to buy their human parts for their sacrifices. The times are evil, but that is what the Lord is saying. So therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all of this so you can stand. 
that standing they are saying is not a physical stand. So you can stand, meaning when, even before you take a trip, before you travel, you need to ask God for protection. Don't just jump in the road and start going. You take pray for two or three, three days. Fast, even if it's one day fast. So that God can open your eyes and say, okay, you wanted to take the the you want to you want to go and take the early morning 6 a.m. bus. But 6 a.m. bus, but in three hours' time, you're gonna be in so so and so jungle area, and they'll be there. The Lord will not the Lord will not orchestrate if you will get to the bus stop at 6 a.m. That 6 a.m. bus is full. The next one is leaving is full. You have to wait two hours it, because you fast. You are feeling, oh my God, I'm running late. Which kind of thing be this? But you do not know that God is protecting you. Why? Because you put on the armor of God for two, three days and prayed and fasted before you went on that trip. So because your fasting and prayer is working, God is going to create situations that will make you miss that particular boss that will get to that place at the time when those kidnappers will be there at the time when those terrorists will be there at the time when those money ritualists will be there that boss that will be there the lord will make you to miss that boss by the time your boss now gets to that junction one hour later or two hours later you will not see the other boss abandoned you will not hear in the news as a so time that is how god works to protect us when we put on his armor, when we when we when we ask him to to begin to 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 to, to protect us, when we put him in front of whatever we do, he protects us. He protects us one way or the other. Sometimes physically we will not even realize that. Oh my God! Thank you. We will not even realize what God did. We will not even see it. But in the realm of the spirit, he's laughing, he's smiling. He said, "Look at this small child. Has no idea what I just did." Why you are saying, oh my God, eee, eee, eee. my God, do I wanted to take this car, this 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 airplane that crashed? Have you see people that miss their flight only to find out the airplane crashed? They miss their flight. Oh my God! Oh, I'm going to have to buy another ticket. Oh my God! Only to find out that the airplane crashed. Then they oh my God, thank you for that. Oh God, ah, the money I lost, I don't care anymore. That is how God works when we put on His armor. The times are evil. We are in evil days. So that is Apostle Paul. This, this the Bible was written thousands of years ago when we were even we had we were still I don't know where we were. But Apostle Paul, he knows that now, thousands of years later, to 2020, 2021 that we are in now, he knows that there will be evil, kidnappings, religious killing. People shooting each other, money ritualists. That is why he put this year for us to, 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 to be guided by. So I'm just going to read through once again and ask God to give us an understanding of what is here. So today our Bible, our proofreading is from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 and I read to verse uh, 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 13. Verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, Take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in this evil day. And having done all that, you will be able to stand. May the Lord God Almighty bless these words into our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. So we're just going to do a quick prayer. Father Lord, I pray that you protect us wherever we go. Anywhere we go, Lord, your protection will be upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever evil the enemy has in our way, Lord, your armor will protect us and we'll be able to withstand and destroy and demolish their evil plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon fashioned against us and our families will ever prosper. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 
God bless you, brothers and sisters, for joining me. I love you with the love of, love of Christ. Once again, your sister, Princess from Princess Awaken Ministry. God bless you. I will see you next time.